yeah, I uh, I really like it. I really like where we're at as a league. I really like the uh, you know what Belmont and Murray have done for a long, long time, right? It, not just in their league, everyone around the country, college basketball people, uh, you know, nationally, everyone knows Belmont and Murray because of what they have accomplished and that they have been consistent with it and they've done it, again, over a, a long period of time. So you, to be able to get them into our league is a home run. And, uh, and then I think UIC has a lot to offer. I, I think our the UIC will bring a lot to the table and the Valley's going to be good for UIC. You know, I think it in some ways going to help them, whether it's recruiting or scheduling or whatever it might be, um, do some things that they can, can help elevate their program. So I, I, uh, we lose a, a really good team and a really good program, but we bring in two that were doing the same thing. And in UIC, uh, I think a team that's going to get good. Nate and Bo have, you know, they've had two really good years to start their career. Uh, you know, Bowen, freshman of the year, you know, last year he hurt some bone in his hand kind of late September, you know, so he has to go through that, leads right into when we're playing games. So um, his November and December were a little bit out of, you know, a little bit out of sorts and he had to, he had to fight through that um, and then comes on to be sixth man of the year. Uh, and then Nate's just, he's been a really good two-way player. I, you know, as a freshman, um, you know, as good a defender, you know, one of the better defenders that I've seen over, you know, my time in the league as a true freshman. Uh, and then last year he was a good two-way player for us. We aren't, we aren't going to change our, we haven't, and we don't plan to change our philosophy in terms of recruiting. Uh, and for us it's been recruiting high school players. And when the opportunity has been there, to redshirt them uh, so that we can, we can have our our groups together, right, for four years and five years, and they play together, and they get better, and they get better, and, um, and you also, um, that, to, for me as our head coach, uh, for our staff, we've always felt like that's how you build your culture, that's how you build your family, that's, that's how you do this long term, for us, has been to recruit high school players, so from a philosophy standpoint, um, we, we are not going to change that approach, uh, you know, we're working right now to sign two or three high school players this fall and not, not save any scholarships for the spring. And that's a decision you have to make now, right, that you didn't have to make before. Um, we've made the decision to continue to recruit the way that we have. So for, for us, our, you know, the expectation um, that we have is that we're going to get as good as we can get and have as much fun as we can have, right? And that is, that's each and every year, right? Now, where that starts, you know, a lot of times, yeah, based on game experience that returns, right? The guys you have returning, kind of where you start in terms of where you're at uh, early November when you start playing games. Um, but that that goal for our program, the expectation I have for our guys is that same one. And we're going, yeah, we're going to work really hard, but let's get as good as we can get and let's do it um, in a way that's going to be fun.